Judges of Clay, the competitors, judge and coaches for the Compound Man Open Bronze medal match. E noi passiamo al Compound Open maschile, danno il benvenuto a i coach e gli atleti che si contenderanno la medaglia di bronzo. Time to welcome the athletes now for the Compound Men's Open Bronze Medal Match. Bira Korkmaz of Turkey going up against Maxime Guerin of France. On target one, representing Turkey. Al bersaglio numero uno per la Turchia, Bülent Korkmaz. On target number two, representing France. Al bersaglio numero due per la Francia, Maxime Guerin. Line judge for this match is Björn Strandby. Shooting first will be target number one, Turkey. So two medal matches left in this session here at the European Para Archery Championships of 2022. And we begin with the compound men's open bronze medal match. Bülent Kukmas of Turkey up against Maxime Guerin of France. From a seated position, it's Kukmas who's going to get the match underway. So that was a miss from uh, Bulen Kukmas to open the match. Um, a tough, a tough thing to deal with in your your first arrow. It went off very, very fast. Um, be interesting to see whether there was something with his release aids. Um, Nine. Or whether, you know, whether there was something else wrong with that particular arrow. Nine. 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 Seven, eight, liner. Well, potentially not uh, capitalized upon by uh, Guran here but a miss as you say Chris for the very first arrow uh, one it's going to be a big dent in your confidence and concentration but uh, can you recover from potentially a, a 10 point deficit hey, I see it's a huge ask but um, you know with that last arrow which was incorrectly marked as an 8 by uh, our spotters I, I'm pretty sure that will be marked down to a 7 and um, it's not a 10 point deficit it's only a six point deficit 24 to 18. so there's, there's you know it could have been much worse let's be honest um Bruno's going to have to really 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 shoot his his socks off um over the next four ends uh to come back from this but it's you know it, it could have been much worse that it was really down to to, to Goran to, to capitalize and make sure that that error gave him the um, gave him the European uh, bronze medal in in this first end, and he, he didn't do that. Yeah, so Kukmas with a, a well 
a miss and an error of that uh, magnitude uh, potentially could have put him out right at the beginning of this but uh, as Chris has said Maxim Gurin has not capitalized well certainly not to the fullest so a six point deficit after the first end let's see whether Korkmaz can come back from that yeah, you could see you could see the coach of Gorando, the 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 Asian down at the target taking a good look. It was marked down by the judge and even if you we didn't see the signal, we, we got the result and, and any agent that takes a really good look at a line call is only taking a good look because his athlete didn't get the point. Korkmaz to get the second end underway. Well, you were hoping for an improvement. And that's what he got compared to the first arrow from the first end. Eight, nine, liner. Otto, forse nove di riga. Nine. There's quite a bit of movement there, isn't there? Just before release. So a 28 for Korkmaz. Nine. No, oh, it's a 26 or 27 for the French archer, Turkish archer, Korkmaz, 28. So it's either a four or five point lead for the French Archer. Five point deficit after two ends is less than the six point after one. I mean, but he hasn't got time just to take one set, one pointer, uh, an end uh, with only three left. Uh, Brulek Korkmaz, you know, he, he has the capability to, to draw this back, but he'll need to to tighten up. You were talking about the movement in Guaran. There's a lot of movement in his shot post-release more than pre-release. Um, hugely explosive uh, shot, actually. Um, let's, let's his bow arm fall away. Let's his bow really bounce out. Very unusual for a compound archer to take that approach. Well, that's fine if it, wor and if it uh, works Maxim for him. Guerin has one point more, so it's a five-point lead for the French archer. Turkish Korkmaz will shoot first. Well, you called it. Close the gap by a single point. Uh, he needs to keep that momentum, the uh, performance trajectory going up, uh, the athlete from Turkey, to give himself a chance here in this match. Uh, but he's pointing in the right direction. Start of the third end here in this uh, compound men's open bronze medal match. Tough start for Korkmaz with a miss at the very beginning, but he's fighting back right now. Eight, nine liner, Otto, forse, nove. There's no other way to see this um, 
for for Bruno and Korkmaz, it's arrow by arrow. Every point that scores, every arrow that scores one point more than your opponent is a win. Anything less is 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 running out of time. Well, the tens just put a bit of pressure on the Frenchman. Nine, love it. Ten, the Solid finish as well. So we have 26 points this time for Maxim Guerin France uh, for a total of 77. Bruno Korkmaz uh, 28 or 29, so it's a three or two point lead. Yeah, we, so we have to wait France. for that uh, that measure. Uh, Chris, I'm not going to make my call this time. <laughs> that first arrow, eight or nine from uh, Korkmaz. Well, I'm seeing the judge take a look at it, but that's almost definitely a nine. Um, the, uh, you know, after after one end of this, after one hour, we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, a ten point deficit. Is it is it possible to come up? As the judge confirms, what is what is very very clear, even on this screen, um, that arrow did break the line. Um, after after one hour, we're talking about a ten point deficit with a miss. After nine arrows, we're talking about a two-point deficit, as as Bulan Kogmas has, you know, certainly outshot Maxim Guerin in this final, save for that, save for that one one arrow to start things off. Great mental strength to pull this one back and and make it a match over the last two ends. Well, they, yeah, like you say, two ends to go here with the momentum going in the direction it is and uh, Kogmas shooting a lot better. You'd argue that he's the favourite now. Momentum, momentum is a thing in archery for sure. And Boulain Korkmaz has the momentum. He came from a, you know, a, a, a higher, higher steep as he as he as he launched himself into this one, building, digging that own hole. To mix two absolute metaphors in one sentence, uh, with, with that miss. But but ultimately, Maxim Guerin has a two-point lead, and it's going to be difficult. It's going to be more difficult to take these next two points than it was to take the previous six. But Korkmaz shoots first. The range is uh, clear. We are ready to go into the fourth end of this compound men's open bronze medal match. European podium up for grabs for one of these two. Korkmaz training by two. We'll shoot first. Good group, but you can see the disappointment there from Korkmaz. He's wanting to get into those tens. Ten X, Dieci. Oh, it's his opponent what that's a time uh, to produce done. his first 10 of the match you know uh, uh, struggling with those two points uh, left between the the pair that's that's where you really need to find the middle Nine. A good uh, grouping a fairly good grouping at 27 he's beatable here to increase Garan's lead Turn X. And a 29 from him does indeed do that. And we're back to a four-point deficit here 
And Chris, you called it. Uh, getting uh, getting to close the gap up to two points, perhaps a little easier than uh, than pushing on and, and coming through. And like I say, first 10 followed by another in the match uh, for Maxime Guran of France. Uh, you know, think about that mental battle that the two are, the two are, the two are struggling with internally. Um, Bruno Korkmaz shoots a miss with his first arrow. He's got to come back from that. It's a mountain to climb, so he's going to try and do it. And he, and he does climb that mountain. Maxime Guran, it's really tough not to let that miss from your opponent uh, let you think it's already over uh, and, and we saw that over three ends he wasn't hit in the middle he shot okay but there wasn't that tension that that um that adrenaline that that competition fire that he needed to stay ahead uh, get to the fourth end and um, he's only got a two-point lead he now actually needs to shoot some tens to win the match and that's when he pulls it together those last two points were always going to be more difficult to claim than that than the previous six uh, maxim Guren re-stamping his authority um, and this is really realistically a six point match a, si a six arrow match rather than a 15 arrow match well trailing as he does by four points Bulant Korkmaz of Turkey has fought his way back into this but it's a tough ask as we go into the fifth and final regulation end Nine. 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 Ten. Nine. Well, the gap widens. Just trying to remain nice and relaxed. Wind sounds like it's picking up significantly. Nine, nine. Well, all Corkmaster can do here. Is get down the biggest score he possibly can. He knows this has probably evaded him. Ten. Gets the 10 to finish off. A 130, so a six for European bronze for Maxim Guran. It's an eight or a nine, but well, it looks like it's a uh, bang on the line for, for a nine Guran. for a 134 from oh, Maxim Guran. It wasn't the most comfortable of victories, that's for sure. The miss perhaps didn't help the eventual winner, but uh, Maxim Guran of France has held on and in fact pulled away in the final end to take the compound men's open bronze medal here at the European Championships beating Bulan Gurkmaz of Turkey at 134 to 130.